everyone, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm Rebecca Felgate and I am a big fan of all animals. Animals are amazing. Animals are so much more than just pets, as you will see from this list. Before we jump right on into this list, I just want to highlight our sweet, sweet merch, like the top I'm wearing. Pocket. You can store all kinds in there. So if you are a Most Amazing fan and you want a Most Amazing shirt, then head on over to MostAmazingShop.com. Okay, so back to the animals. Coming in at number 10, we have Bird the Cockatoo. A bird, imaginatively called Bird, provided vital DNA evidence in his owner's murder trial. Texas native Kevin Butler's home was broken into on Christmas Eve in 2001. He was unfortunately killed by his intruders. His loyal bird flew at and pecked the intruders, but sadly the bird was was killed too. However, in pecking Daniel Torres, Bird captured a chunk of his DNA in his beak. When police officers investigated the murder scene, they found the crucial evidence to link the crime to the killer and his accomplice. Coming in at number 9, two cats and their hair found a murderer here. 19 year old Lori Orca disappeared in May 1989, and her body was found on a dirt track in Pennsylvania after a three week search. Initially, her ex husband Robert was investigated. He was a very fishy character who cleaned up and sold his car after the murder, but there was not enough evidence to link him to the crime. In the end, though, he was eventually linked to the murder by cat hairs found on his clothes. These were two cats that just so happened to belong to his ex wife. Lori. Robert was convicted and sentenced to death in 1992. Coming into number 8, we have a real life Scooby Doo. In Scooby Doo, the Scooby gang tend to solve mysteries and crimes. It's a good time. Scooby, the real life dog, appeared as a witness in a 2008 murder trial in France. Scooby was thought to have been in the Parisian home of his owner when she was found hanging from the ceiling. Police initially thought that the death was suicide, but her family insisted it was murder. Scooby barked furiously when the suspect in the case was brought in forward for trial. Coming in at number 7, we have Bud the Parrot. Parrots know things, but more importantly, they say things. Bud the African Grey was instrumental in solving a murder case. It seems Bud bore witness to the killing of Martyr Durham, and when police went into the house to investigate, Bud kept repeating, don't shoot, in the victim's voice. As eyes turned towards his wife, Glenna, she said that he must have been repeating a conversation with her husband's killer. Things got more awkward when Bud started repeating lines from an argument Glenna and Martin had. It then became clear that the killer was indeed his wife. Coming in at number 6, it is not all death and gloom on this list. This dog found the most important cup in football. So we have the dog who saved the World Cup. What is the World Cup tournament without the World Cup? Nothing, right? Meet Pickles the Collie. Pickles is an important figure in the history of British football. In 1966, the year England hosted and won the World Cup tournament, the trophy was unfortunately stolen in London. When out on a walk with his owner, Pickles the dog sniffed out the cup in a hedge in South London. London. The trophy was then returned, and then when England won, Pickles was invited to a celebration banquet with his owner David Corbett. David was also awarded £5,000, which back then was enough to buy a house. That's right, triggered millennial coming right at you. £5,000 for a house. Ah! Pickles then went on to star in the film The Star with a Cold Nose. Sadly, he died a year later chasing a cat. However, his memory does live on. As we're mid list, I thought I'd bring you something a little bit different for number five. We have the cat who was summoned for jury duty. You may know that if you're summoned for jury duty, it's really hard to get out of it. Well, it turns out you can still be summoned even if you aren't human. Just ask Sal Esposito, a house cat from Boston. Sal received a letter in the mail saying that he had to go to court, even though his owner wrote a letter to say that he's a cat. Nonetheless, he was told that he was not exempt from jury duty. It all happened as a mix up with a census where his owner had listed the animal in the pet section. Coming into Number 4, Severed Grasshopper Legs Solved a Crime In 1985, a woman was found murdered and there was little evidence left at the scene, except from a mangled grasshopper found in her clothing. The insect was almost totally ignored, until a suspect was taken in for questioning and forensics found a bug leg on his trousers. The bug leg matched up perfectly to the insect found in her clothing and was a vital piece of evidence when convicting the man of murder. This isn't the only case of insect 
evidence. We have regional dead bugs in Bakersfield at number 3. So in 2003, a guy from Ohio rented a car, drove to California, killed his family and then drove on back. The defendant in question said that he had never left Ohio, but what he didn't realise is that bugs would serve as key evidence. What gave him away is that his car radiator and filter were splattered with insects west of the Rockies. Again, a grasshopper was an absolute decider here. A red shanked grasshopper was discovered and they're not found any further east than Kansas. Also, a bright bug native only to Arizona, Utah and Southern California was found. I guess he didn't think to wash away the evidence in the car radiator, so yeah. Outsmarted, outbugged. This dog sniffed out millions of euros worth of drugs up next at number 2. As you know, dog solving crimes is nothing new. In fact, some dogs are specially trained to solve crimes, which is why they've been working with police officers for over a century. Recently, a police sniffer dog called Holly sniffed out 2.4 million euros worth of cannabis hidden in crates at Dublin Airport. The incident happened on the 27th of September 2017. Holly found 376 kilograms of cannabis resin and just under 10 kilos of herbal cannabis. The result was that Holly was responsible for the arrest of a northern Irish man who was smuggling the drugs and had been for a while. Finally, okay, this is my favourite one. It is so crazy and there's so much coincidence involved. It needs to be turned into a movie. We have a shark who vomited up an arm. What? In 1935, a tiger shark in Sydney, Australia was caught three kilometres off a beach and taken to live in an aquarium. Within one week, the fish got sick and in front of a crowd of people, vomited up a human arm with a very distinctive tattoo. The plot thickens as it seems the shark had eaten a smaller shark which had eaten the arm. Buh, 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 buh. Right. So anyway, fingerprints identified the man as James Smith who had been missing for coming on 3 weeks. It then came out that the arm had been cut from a body, so dismembered and literally fed to the sharks. Eventually the investigation led back to a Sydney businessman, Reginald Holmes, who ran a boat building business. Long story short, he and Smith were into dodgy dealings and had led to a third party by the name of Patrick Brady getting involved in the business, killing Smith and blackmailing Holmes with the body. His body was then cut up and fed straight on out to the sharks in the ocean, but in a crazy turn of coincidence, that very same shark was taken in by the aquarium. Oh my goodness. So that was the top 10 crimes solved by animals. Guys, I feel like if you're ever planning on trying to get away with murder, you should really chill out and stop this madness. As we know from this list, something as simple as a cat hair or a grasshopper leg can lead you straight on back to the crime and you never know when sharks are going to start vomiting up arms. Weird. So guys, I'm Rebecca Felgate. I really hope you enjoyed this fun, crazy and criminal list. If you did, then make sure you show me by giving this video a good thumbs up, sharing it with a friend and staying subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10. <laughs>